Uh, welcome back. This is the third recipe I'm going to show you. This one is very, very simple. Uh, we all know the cheap olive oil based um, liquid soap. It's great for using against your hands. However, if you want to improve the bacterial and virucidal activities of a basic soap, do this. You take the soap out and get, make sure you get a, a bottle that you can open. So I'm just pouring all the soap into here. So that's the soap out. And what I have here is iodine. Now this is 200 uh, milligrams of iodine per gram of stuff and there's 100 grams here. So that's quite a bit of iodine. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to mix the iodine into the soap. So basically I'm, I'm making, an, making homemade antibacterial soap. Now both these ingredients are very, very cheap. I'm just taking all the iodine and mixing it into the soap so it's completely distributed. Okay, you turn the soap and a nasty brown, but there's nothing you can do about it. But you can see now, what you have here now is iodine soap. And it's as simple as that. So you take your bottle and you pour the iodine soap back in. Now remember, you've added 100, an extra 100 mils, so there'll be a little bit too much to... Oh, actually, it all fits, so it must be less than, less than the full bottle here. That's okay. So now, you've converted cheap household liquid soap into medicated soap. As easy as that. So I'll put the, the, fill, the filler back in. Now you can use this as a pump soap. Just pump it onto your hands. Now remember, the virus can be transmitted by contact. So if you've, you wash your hands, your hands are clean, but potentially the top of the pump is not clean. So now you take your alcohol spray, spray the top of the pump, and it's now sterilized and clean for the next person to come along. So these two together will keep your home clean, bacterial and viral, and viral free. The important thing with coronaviruses for most people is going to be very mild. Now it's new and it's affecting the whole world and that's a bad thing. So reduce your contact, try not to touch your mouth and, and eyes with your hands. Um, if you go out and touch foreign surfaces we don't know who else has been touching them. Take your spray bottle or take your cream and use those to wash your hands. These have enough alcohol in them that they will kill the virus. Now this soap is not guaranteed to kill the virus, but because it's a combination of soap and iodine, it'll kill bacteria, it'll kill some viruses, but it'll properly wash your hands. And remember how I showed you previously to wash your hands properly. Always use that hand washing technique. Um, run the tap, wash the soap off, and once you wash the soap off, your hands will be virus free. So I hope you all keep well and safe, and I'll see you next time.